Dr. Patel from the International Center for Eye Health. And um, I'm here with two, two of my ex-students who have been doing the Masters in Public Health for Eye Care. This is Dr. Lutful Hussain from Bangladesh, who now works with Orbis International. And he was a graduate from the 2005-06 year. This is Dr. Grace Phoebe from originally from the Cameroon, but now right. working in Burkina Faso with the uh, APOC WHO. So thank you both of you for coming for this uh, little session here. And I'd like to ask you a few questions. Um, going back to the times when you joined the course, uh, if you remember that the uh, Public Health for Eye Care course, the main focus was to transform clinicians to embracing not just that one individual patient, but to looking at what are the needs of their population. That was kind of the ethos of the course. So perhaps you could tell us and identify what's been the key impact that you feel the training in this MSc for public health um, has had firstly on you as an individual, then perhaps on the work that you've done at a national level, and then your international role subsequently. Perhaps I'll start with you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, first of all, I am grateful uh, for um, for our funding agencies who give me the, give me the opportunity to undertake these courses, like um, Orbis International, Defeat, British Council, Task Force Sight and Life. And one thing I must say: before taking this course, I was purely clinician. As I must say, I was 80% clinical ophthalmologist and 20% community ophthalmologist. But after taking this course, I, am, I have now become 80% community ophthalmologist and only 20% clinical ophthalmologist. And before the course, I was involved with only 1 million people in a small district of Bangladesh. Now I am engaged over 1 billion of people in South Asia region to fight against avoidable blindness. This is the change which the course has brought on me and I am greatly, uh, I must appreciate our facilitators, our course coordinators and uh, <coughs> all of our mentors that this impact has been by these courses. What would you say are the key skills that you picked up on the course? Definitely, definitely understanding the <coughs> epidemiology of the eyes, common eye problems in the community, the trends in the eye diseases and the, what are the plans to be undertaken according to the change in disease pattern. So there are many uh, changes which actually brought in my skills. And I found this course is one of the basic foundations uh, where I can offer my skills, both clinical and public health skills. Um, Grace, perhaps you could highlight what has been your experience having done the course perhaps a little bit longer than Lutful Hussain. Um, you were a graduate from 2001-2, and maybe you can talk us through your experience again at, the at your individual level, mm. uh, national and international. Yeah. Thank you very much, Daksha. I must also uh, thank all those that have, uh, in one way or another, contributed to making uh, me come to this change especially this institute uh, for those who created it, who had the brilliant idea to, to put in place this institute, and to uh, Site Savers and CBM who gave me the opportunity to actually go to the institute and have this mind-changing experience. But let me just say that uh, I graduated as an undergraduate from Cameroon, did postgraduate in Glasgow, Western Infirmary, went back to Cameroon and worked as an ophthalmologist for quite a while. But I was, bit by bit, I became very frustrated doing the clinical work because you would realize that although the need is there, you know there are patients out there for cataract surgery, for instance, but you, you hardly see them coming to the hospital. We had a very hard time trying to get patients to the hospital and increase our cataract surgical rate. And I, I was really frustrated. <clears throat> but then when I came to the Institute and I understood a little bit more about the 
the important role the community has to play uh, to determine the health outcomes or, or their own health outcomes. And sitting at the hospital level, I was only seeing the tip of the, of the iceberg. I think that was the fundamental change that I came out with from from the from at the then International Center for Eye Health. And uh, uh, when I went back, I thought I should not sit in the hospital, but go to the community, work with the community, ask their problems, diagnose the problems with them, develop solutions and, and, and plans with them to solve it. And that has brought me into uh, working more specifically with river blindness control. And now I'm working with uh, WHO, the African Program for Oncocytosis Control, which is uh, the organization responsible for distributing uh, ivermectin. And the strategy we're using is community-directed strategy, whereby the community themselves select who will distribute for them, how they're going to distribute, when they want the drug, etc., etc. So, um, fundamentally, uh, I am a program manager today, uh, trying to determine policy, putting in place sustainable uh, systems for drug distribution in 20 countries in Africa. And I do, I do this thanks to what I learned from the community, uh, the, the ICH Center in London. I'm very grateful. And to you, Daksha, particularly. <laughs> uh, I think one of the uh, strengths of the course is that suddenly it makes um, makes the ophthalmology enable to understand the evidence that's in front of them and then what to do with the evidence yeah. that's been presented yeah. to them. And you both have uh, certainly reflected a true career shift in this area. Would you recommend that public health training, although never given in the clinical ophthalmology training, would you say that that is an essential part of every resident's training in ophthalmology, or would you make that recommendation? Because uh, these courses have brought some changes in our mindset as well as skill set. So, if we want to fight against the uh, avoidable blindness in order in order to attain the Vision 2020 mandate of Vision 2020, we have to motivate our ophthalmologist. This motivation has to come. So, this change, these courses change my motivation and I have now come out of the room to the real world. So, I have seen how the people are suffering in the remote rural places and I am, it gives me a real sense of happiness that I am the part of the team I am fighting against that blindness. So, clinical ophthalmology certainly they have certain roles in getting these courses because the research agenda which is one of our pillars of Orbis International Research and Evidence. They need to undertake researches which will help in taking decisions, in planning. Many of the hospitals, they do have databases, but they do not know how to uh, arrange the data uh, for analysis and how to take the decisions. So this course will definitely help them to analyze their data, to monitor their performances, and to take the action accordingly. So not only from, from the public health perspective, also from the clinical perspective, this course has a great role. Yeah, yeah. I, I totally agree because, uh, as I say, you don't want to have graduated as an ophthalmologist, work, learn the bad experience, then realize there was something you ought to have learned even before graduating. So I really think it should be made uh, part of the resident, uh, uh, residents that uh, ophthalmology students take, and medical students for that matter, to undertake this this notion of of public health, right. which which uh, it's very essential in understanding uh, disease control, disease uh, policies about disease control, and and making a change, bringing a change. So I think it's very very important that uh, we all work towards making this part of the training of every yes. medical student. I think so. Thank you both of you. Thank you for this, uh, telling us about the work that you've done. And we congratulate both of you on the work that you are still doing. And with the enthusiasm and with the uh, conviction that you have in making a difference, 
to the blind in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'd like to thank everybody.